Hey Bears, Eric here. Now, I got a lot of pushback over my comments regarding Yellow Flash and X-Men 97 and Demion, X-Men 97. I got a lot of pushback from people who said that I was being too hard on these guys because they were actually taking responsibility and being accountable for saying they were wrong about X-Men 97. You know, in like one tweet buried in a mountain of tweets where a vast majority of the people that watch their content, they're not paying attention to it. But neither of them, at least to my knowledge, has made a video talking about how good the show is to try and help the show be a success because they claim this is what they want from Marvel. This is what they want to see. But I've yet to see them do like some sort of video or clip or live stream where they're talking about how the show is a step in the right direction. And this is what the, this community, their community, would like to see from Marvel. They haven't done that. So it's very disingenuous. And I called him out on it. And people said, oh, you're being too hard on them. But here we have Yellow Flash. This is a clip from a Flash cast where he's talking about X-Men 97 again. And instead of doing it in a positive way, he is once again framing it negatively and using a, an extremely biased news source in Cosmic Book News to try and make the show look bad, even though he himself has already stated that the show is a masterpiece. So instead of making a video hyping the show up, he's once again on the negative clout grift scam train. X-Men 97 is a flop. Disney Marvel brand damage is real. So this is him passing the buck off to Disney and Marvel for them being responsible for the failure of the show, even though they've done nothing of the sort. The show has been extremely well received with the fans. Very few people are complaining about it. If you look online, you don't see a lot of people complaining about it. Most people are very excited about the show. A lot of people like Yellow Flash, like Endymion, a lot of people in the space have said it's the best thing Marvel's done since Endgame. They've talked about this. So this idea that somehow Marvel has ruined X-Men comes off as extremely disingenuous, comes off as a lie, comes off as a is the struggle is real trying to make this work. Looking at Nielsen ratings, trying to compare it to other live action shows, things like that. Everything they can do to try and frame the show in a bad light. Even though they have admitted that it's a good show. So instead of them taking responsibility like they always do for the failure of something, because of all the work they put in, all the hard astroturfing, hate, grifting work that they put in for the failure of something, instead of them taking responsibility for it, now it is Marvel's fault. It's Disney's fault that the show is underperforming. So now it's not them. They didn't do it. We're not taking responsibility for this. It's all on Disney and Marvel. This is the kind of stuff that I like to talk about and expose here on YouTube. If the show was bad, if, if X-Men 97 was bad and, and they hated it, they would say that they are fighting the culture war and all the hard work put on put in from their viewers and their content pushing back against Marvel and Disney caused the show to fail. But now that they know the show is, is vastly in the positive space, it's no longer on them. They had nothing to do with this. All of the hate videos they made had nothing to do with this. It's all on Disney and Marvel. Look, it didn't perform as good as Echo, so that means it must be awful. All of these weird framings that they're doing. It's This is why when I hold them accountable for the things they say, and I'm like, this tweet was not enough. Yellow Flash saying, I was wrong. X-Men 97 is a masterpiece. In a tweet was not enough. He owes it to the people on his channel, to his viewers, to hype up stuff that he thinks is a positive in, in a direction for, from a brand or an IP that he says has been tarnished. You owe it to your fans to do that. If you are truly in it, for better content, if you're truly in this for making things better, and that's what you're fighting is this culture war, and you say that Disney and Marvel did something that is a masterpiece, why have I not seen some sort of push from you and the people associated with you, specifically like Endymion and things like that, why are you guys not pushing hard for Marvel to do more content like this instead of doubling down on the hate campaign that you guys were already on from the beginning? And the answer is you don't give a fuck about quality. You don't give a fuck about these shows. You don't care about the cartoons. You don't care about live action. You don't care about any of it. You care about the money you make from scamming and grifting your viewers with this narrative-based content, this ideology of hate that you guys have. You are too, you're too caught up in it. It's too much of a money thing for you now. 
You can no longer objectively view the content that you're watching. It has to be framed in a narrative. You couldn't come out and go against the grain because it would tarnish your image in the space you're in. It would make you look like a bitch or a soy or whatever fucking insult you would use. It would make you look like that to the people that watch you to go really hard in the other direction. So you will not do it. You are basically locked in financially to put out this kind of content. And this is the prime example. You apologized on social media. You called it a masterpiece. And instead of going out and trying to help the show be successful, instead of going out and making a big push to say, this is in the right direction. This is amazing. I'm loving this storyline. I'm loving that storyline. I'm a huge X-Men fan. And this is what I love about X-Men. Instead of doing that, you are now releasing a clip, once again, negatively framing the show. What you're doing is very obvious to me. I'm hoping it's going to be very obvious to a lot of people that watch you, but I don't know. You guys still have your shills in my comment section trying to defend the dumb shit that you do because they're totally happy with lining your pockets with money for spreading lies and hate and disinformation on social media. They, they seem to be okay doing that. As long as you're going to echo their bias and say the thing that they, that they believe, they're willing to give you guys money for that. And so you're caught up in it and they're addicted to it. Apparently I did my video about nerd Roddy the other day about him talking about engagement crack basically saying that his fans and people that engage with him are addicts and they seem to be totally okay with that. They have no, no problem with that whatsoever. They would rather ask me about my opinions on stuff. But why do you give a fuck about my opinion when you guys are uh, m being milked by these content creators? It's just fucking dumb. It's fucking dumb. I'm not going to give these guys, guys any credit for apologies. This was, this was like, I'm waiting to see when the other shoe was going to drop, and this is the other shoe. They're just going to double down on this shit. They don't care about quality. They're playing every single one of you.